So, my overall impression of Saint Kaiser is that he has a lot of feints that he can use in connection with a move called his guzzle step. And his guzzle step allows him to follow up a lot of his moves in a variety of different ways. But that's only if he has a, his stamina gauge filled up. The stamina gauge seems to fill up over time. He also has a move called the Hulk Breaker, which is his infinite reversal slash dragon punch. However, uh, if you think that you can easily punish him for that, he actually has follow-ups that can continue. So as long as he has gauge, and this would kind of makes him a mix-up machine, Kai can, or Sin Kai can, uh, let's call him Sin, Sin can follow up and attack you. So you never know. He also has an overhead that can be connected to a few different moves. So if his stamina gauge is empty, then I know I can block and I'm fine. But if it's not, eh, you might get mixed. Uh, another example, so he can do his Hulk Breaker and then go on to his Guzzle Step. So there's a lot of fake outs that you're going to have to watch out for and, and prepare yourself. Uh, one of the people were interviewed in X, what characters do you think Sin is weak against? And they said to leave it against the players. Um, I think he's going to definitely be weak against somebody like Happy Chaos. Uh, of course, Nago. These are our top tier characters. Him versus Kai be pretty interesting, but... I don't see anything here. I don't see anything here that's removing the top tire characters. What I did notice is you don't want to be juggled by him because it looks like every time he knocks just from his his trailer, every time this guy hits you into the air, you're gonna suffer some follow-up hits, it looks like. So in the previous version of Guilty Gear, he had to eat food to keep his stamina gauge. And this version Eating food is not necessary. Uh, get to viewer asked them, and he said that they, they said that it just gives some random buffs. So he said he'll let the players figure that out as well. That'll be pretty interesting. He was the interview also asked, "Is Sin a beginner-friendly character?" And the answer was yes, but that's to be seen. I don't. I never thought of mix-up heavy characters as. Uh, Philly characters, but hey, sure. Um, he also kept talking about his overhead and how people are going to struggle with it. I guess that's because he can cancel into it, but besides that, I don't see why anybody would struggle with that. He also has a move called Katan that's supposed to be used to help him stop other characters from zoning him. However, in my opinion, the move stops pretty short. I like to play Happy Chaos, and I can see a bunch of ways to zone that move from across the screen and still do some pretty major damage. His first super is called RTL. It looks kind of like Kai's move, except the difference is that he can uh, chain it up to three times. If he has over 50% gauge, he has something called the RPB that does a, a lot more damage that can take up his all of his tension gauge. He also has something called Tyrant Barrel. That's the movie where he kind of pops the carrots on the ground and then punches them like so. That move actually can increase its damage if um, you time it correctly. So my overall thoughts for the character are that he seems like a pretty fun character. I wouldn't be surprised if he's maybe a or b tier i don't see anything from him right now obviously we can't really rank it but just based on what i'm saying so far i don't see anything that's going to make him overly hard to deal with besides his uh mix-ups so anyway 255 out one